introducing Dr. Habib Khurakiwala, founder chairman, Work Hard Group. Work Hard Group was founded in the early 1960s by Dr. Habib Khurakiwala, who is also the chairman and group CEO of Work Hard at Limited, a keen disciple of change management. Work Hard into becoming the first true health trade group from India and emerging as a leading pharmaceutical and biotech conglomerate driven by research and strategic thinking on a global scale. Holding a master's in pharmaceutical science from Purdue University, he has participated in an advanced management program at Harvard Business School, USA, and is also the recipient of an honorary doctorate from Purdue University, USA. We are presenting the memento. This unique memento is a print of the magnificent painting with the heart shaped winged form pulsates with light, with radiance and a deep red hue. I must at the very outset thank you for inviting me uh, because I consider art as my second passion and especially the unique thing about the abstract and I love that. So I'm here and privileged to be with all of you uh, with Yusuf Sahab's uh, The Lines That Moves. In fact, uh, I have been lucky to have him after nearly 15 years of the solo exhibition uh, here. And he believes I was doing some kind of uh, his thought process that these lines, so when you draw two lines, whether it is black or any color, between that is not a white space, but he says there is a white line. And that is a new kind of abstract uh, theme all his life he has followed. He has followed in the other great abstract artists like Gaitunde and Raza. They were both uh, abstract uh, artists. And uh, Gaitunde created his abstract work using Zen philosophy and minimalistic uh, expression. What he do, that, that all his painting is there. There are no more, but they are painting, painting lives, and they are some of the greatest artists. And Raza had his uh, own uh, approach of geometric uh, expression. And because Indianness was the main thing of him, but now what you see today is Yusuf Sahab's The Lines That Rule. He describes it as a painting, is a point which moves and a line is drawn and it produces sensuousness which breathes life into lines, gives dynamism and mobility. This painting are inspired by musical notation of music unborn. Many of us don't know him and his accomplishment. We are truly honored to have respect. Respect as we jail Sahab. As I was saying, uh, Yusuf Sahab is a very accomplished contributor. He is a recipient of many awards. The European Award in Turkey, Dalit Academy Award, Raza Award, and one of his major contributions to India is to establish a museum in uh, Patna. Uh, and he was the founder uh, and director. And this is the largest government of India investment in a museum of nearly 500 crores. And uh, he gave the shape of this museum, got the, uh, all the work within Bihar into the museum, plus a global reach he has achieved in that. But during his time, while he was the founder chairman, he did not involve himself into, now he is retired, involved into his painting or not use his chair for any other purpose than what he was there. 
and that's why I consider him that he symbolizes humility and uh, humbleness. Let me just conclude by uh, Mr. is not hearing me because he's involved there. Uh, <laughs> what Michelangelo, one of the greatest masters of all time, described the artist. The main paints with his brain, not with his hands. He also said, the true work of art is but a shadow of the divine perfection. I believe that beauty of abstract is in our minds, actually. And uh, when you look at abstract painting, and what I see here, that large number of paintings are untitled. Yeah. Very few are titled. Majority are untitled. And I was wondering why. You can tell me. The expected can be given. The, uh, the reason I believe it is so, that every time you see a painting with your own mind, with your own, with your own, not with, I'm not expressing your thoughts. With your own mind, your emotion, to you it is something you find in abstract. If somebody else sees it, he has an entirely different experience back on his head. Sometimes you yourself see a different time, you find something different. And therefore, how do you give a title to a painting with your own mind or it changes all the time? So I think that's very thoughtful. And the, this is a quote I take from the book itself, yours. Okay, Paul Fries said, a drawing is simply a line going for a walk. And you should walk many decades of artistic work.